assure you, Camille, these little girls would much prefer to stay quietly at home. Madeline, you're wrong. They like to go out for fresh air. And if they never go out, they're going to lose all their colour. Remember Sophie's doll? Poor little thing. Actually, what I really recall was the fun we had when we buried her. That's right. Oh, I hear a carriage. So do I. while I get the woman. Oh, yes, Elisa. Give her to us. We'll carry her. Madeleine, help me. I can't, Camille. I want to. But not with all that blood. That's all right. I can do it alone. Gently. Mm. Ah. Wait for me. What happened here? Caves, quickly, alert the chateau. Lefroy, give me some help. Madeline, she doesn't seem to be hurt. Perhaps she'll open her eyes before long. Mama, Mama, I want my Mama. Your mother will be coming very soon. There's nothing to worry about at all. But why isn't she here? Did those naughty horses take her away? They weren't naughty. They fell into a ditch. But your mother isn't with them. Your mother will come. Don't cry. I'll go and see how she is. Oh, oh my leg. Oh, oh don't worry oh. about it. Your leg will mend oh. in no time. Oh. Mama, is the poor lady really? Her heart is beating, so we know she's alive. Martin, Joseph, push her in the carriage. Ever so gently, be careful. Antoine, go and fetch Dr. Forestier. Yes, madam. Alyssa said there was a little girl as well. Is she hurt badly? She only fainted. I don't think she's hurt. I'm glad. I think what we ought to do is to, to walk together with her back to the chateau. Yes, mother. Alyssa, come with me. You can help me carry the poor woman. Oh, she has such beautiful hair. You mean this dolly is all mine? Why, yes. She's yours to keep. She's very pretty. Camille! Where's Mama? And why doesn't she come? Because she's asleep right now. They took her back to the chateau. We're going there too. Would you like to come? Ah, yes. I want to stay with you. What's your name, little girl? Marguerite. What's Mama's name? Mama's name is Mama. You call her that, but she must have a name. I told you Mama is her name. But grown-ups must call her by a different <laughs> name. Yes, Madame. Madame who? No, no, not Madame who, just Madame. Don't bother, Madeline. She's too young to understand. What is your name? I'm Camille, and my sister is Madeline. I know. You can both be my Mama. Mama Camille and Mama Madeline. <laughs> She's out of danger. Oh, thank heaven. But she has lost a great deal of blood. She needs as much rest as possible. Marguerite. Marguerite, where are you? Come in. Your mother's asking for you. Poor Mama. Is your head hurting you? Yes, my dear. Very, very badly. I want to stay with you, Mama. Of course you do. But your mother needs to rest. Give her a kiss, then go out and play with Camille and Madeline. Did you find out her name? 
I think she's called de Rosebourg. It was engraved on her steamer trunks. Fluffy. We're not very far now. What are you muttering about? You have a manner of whining that is most exasperating. Yes, yes, we've arrived. I realize that. I don't need you to tell me. How do you do, madam? Oh, my word, Miss Sophie! It's so wonderful to see you again. Hello, Mart. How do you do, madam? Sophie, we really missed you. You've changed. Your hair's so short and your cheeks are pale. The fresh Normandy air will bring back your colour. You'll be back to normal before this you... stupid and insipid prattle, when will it ever end? Would you mind seeing to our baggage? I don't believe it. Forgive me, madam. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is a souvenir of her mother. I gave strict orders to have everything ready for my arrival. Madam. Get rid of all this right now. Yes, madam. Oh, Sophie! Just what do you think you're doing? I forbid you to enter my room without being asked. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. What is all this? I didn't ask for anything. Just something I prepared for Miss Sophie. After such a long journey, she must be hungry. In the future, you will do what I tell you to and not what you think, Mark. If you disobey me again, you're going to regret it, you hear? I heard you, madam. And as for you, go to your room, you little beast. Get out of my sight. Madam, what shall I do with Madame de Rayon's belongings? Do whatever you like with them. You can give them away, throw them out, or burn them, as long as I never see them again in this house. Whenever you like. Oh, oh, what beautiful dolls. This one is my size. It's so big. Oh, what cute little doggy. And the rocking horse. What fun. Oh, look at the dishes, the cups and the spoons. A whole set. Oh, what a lovely little coat. May I please play with it?
The foie. No, I can't possibly use any more fruit. What am I going to do with all of them? I don't know, but I'm certainly not going to let good fruit rot on the trees. Madame Luchet helped me, since I also had to help with the picking at the Durayans, you know. The chateau is occupied once again. Madame Luchet told me just yesterday. Now, all the way around. Oh. <laughs> I better go and get her. <laughs> Sophie, you forgot the lilacs. Oh, Camille! I broke your carriage. I didn't mean to. Don't cry. <laughs> it's all right, Marguerite. Mother will put in a new piece of glass and it'll be fine. <laughs> but the passengers' head must hurt like Mama. No, they've got good, solid heads. Hey, you see? They're all back in the carriage and they're just fine. Dear Madame Lefebvre, you're so kind and so attentive and caring. I really don't know how to express my appreciation, and I feel I'm taking up all your time without contributing. Your contribution is to get well quickly, my friend. Oh. My baby! Oh, my darling little baby. Now, we mustn't make a sound. Ah, there you are at last. Take that down. Yes, madam. Hmm. Mama, look who I found. My baby. The two of us are going to have lots of fun together. Of course I missed you, darling. You were too far away. I couldn't come to see you. Did I let anyone take your place? Of course not, nobody could do that. I was in a big house, but there were no dolls. In fact, there was nothing to play with. This one as well, take it down, right now. Take down my mother's portrait. No, please, I beg you, don't take Mama's portrait oh, away. Pay no attention, do as I say. Well, go on. No, no, don't take it, no. You are going to learn to obey me. Who do you think you are, young lady? You do not give the orders in this house, I do. Oh. Madame, Madame, tell me please, what are you going to do with Mama's portrait? Put it with the others down there. That should give you a lesson in obedience. I don't want to hear you mention your parents again. <sighs> ah, good morning, my friend. How are you today? I feel a bit stronger each day, madame. But the better I feel, the sadder I become. It means that the day will soon arrive when I have to bid a very dear friend farewell. But there's no reason to leave, my dear, since Marguerite is happy to be living with both Camille and Madeleine. And we get on so well together, it would be a shame to lose all that. Why, we should be delighted if you stayed. But wouldn't it appear indiscreet in the eyes of your family? Not at all. I've been so alone since the death of my husband. His death in the war was so untimely and tragic. And you, my dear, have you had news of your husband since the ship on which he was sailing went down? Unfortunately, I have. There doesn't seem to be very much hope. They think he must have gone down with the ship. I've got 
quite important news, too. Would you like to hear mine first? Then you can tell me all about yours. Don't make us wait any longer. We want to know. My news is that Madame de Rosebourg and Marguerite will not be leaving us as we had feared. Mama, do you mean that they're going to live here with us? Yes, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my daughters had some news as well, unless I was mistaken. You weren't mistaken, Mama. We have wonderful news too. It's Sophie. Sophie? Sophie Dorea, Mama. Alyssa just told us that the chateau isn't empty anymore. Madeline's right. Sophie has returned from America with her stepmother. Oh, Mama, we want so much to see her again. So do I. Well, then, why don't we invite them both to tea? That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see, Marguerite. You'll like her. We always have fun together. <laughs> They're so delighted to be together. You'll see, Camille and Madeleine will look after Marguerite as if she were their sister. I'm certain they will. Poor little Sophie. I wonder how she's coped with all that unhappiness. You mean the little girl who only just returned from America? Yes, a little girl a bit older than Marguerite. High-spirited, bright, and a mind of her own. We haven't seen her for years. Such a tragedy. What sort of a tragedy? During a terrible shipwreck, she lost her mother and her cousin, who was like a brother to her. And if that weren't bad enough, she lost her father not long after the shipwreck. Poor thing. Sophie stayed on in America, in Louisiana, with her father's second wife, a certain Madame Ficini. She's fortunate to have found a second mother. Alyssa will take them this invitation for tomorrow. You don't have enough room. Always complaining. Look, you just have to... Oh, you've made a mess again. Will you write to me from America? Why, yes, Jean. I don't have your address. I'll give it to you. You can put it in the little writing pad you gave me. I can't wait to receive a letter from you. Something smells good. Can't you smell it? Martin Gabriel must be making marmalade. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's cherry, I think. Hmm. You're hungry too, aren't you? My poor baby. Let's go downstairs. I have an idea. It's ready. How many does that make? There we I are. Must count. Madam will have enough for the entire winter. Mm. Quickly, let's hide. In the cupboard. No one will think of looking in there. We'll be nice and safe. So clever. Mm, so delicious. Will you help me take this cloak off? It's much too tight. Let me try, madam. There you are. Have you seen that wicked little uh, Sophie? No, madam. I wonder what mischief she's inventing now. Sophie! Here I am, madam. What are you doing in there? Come out immediately, you stupid uh, little creature, quickly! Uh, 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 what were you doing in there? I want to know. Do you recall my forbidding you to go near that cupboard? Yes, madame. Uh, I told you to call me uh, mama. But you never listen, do you, you little monster? If I see you in there once more, I shall lock you up in there for three days without food or... An invitation arrived from the Chateau de Fleurville. Really? How nice. Well, give it to me, will you? Here you are, madame. Ah. Hello, Miss Sophie. 
Hello. My, how you've changed. I barely recognized you. I've been invited to tea by a certain Madame de Flaville. We have been invited. Go and tell her that we gratefully accept her kind invitation and that we will be there tomorrow afternoon. Have you lost your tongue? In polite circles, it is customary to express one's appreciation. Please, please thank Madame de Flaville for inviting me. Uh, I'm a... Uh... Well, at least you have some manners, but after I finish with you, you'll do much better. Goodbye, my Good dear. Good madam. Marthe, would you tell Simon to serve me my dinner? Yes, madam. Tomorrow I must put up with you, you miserable and disobedient monster. Now go to your room before I change my mind. Sleep. I want it to be tomorrow. Will I take you with me? Why, of course, I would never go without you. And you're going to see Camille and Madeleine at the chateau. And Madame de Florville. Oh, Madame de Florville. Madame de Florville. She's so kind. Madame